Hi, this is Richard from Grafting Dragon Fruits, and today I'm going to show you guys how to cut the nodes off so that your graph can focus energy to go to the graph, and that way the new branch will come out. So here I have a carving tool, it's, as you can see. It's a V-shaped type of tool. And what I'm going to do is basically just, you know, start getting all of these out. And this is how I do it. It's nice and quick, as you can see, right there. guys see how easy it is it's just me pushing in and pulling out you get a perfect little V shape as you can see they're all right here <coughs> so in theory you can use those to graft as well it's called dormant grafting so what you would do is <coughs> you would match this Go find a rootstock that you like and basically just wedge it in because they're all the same shape once you have them in. So something like that. You can tape it and your graph would grow from here. But we're not doing that today. And if you guys want to know more about that, I can make a separate video and talk all about it and show you guys how to do it. But today I'm just taking out nodes. <clears throat> so that way there's not going to be any messing around with the energy. It's just going to go straight to our graph and then hopefully our graph will set off a new branch. <clears throat> the rootstock that I'm using is called a Tommy's Pink. It was by some guy named Tommy and it was a pink variety. So that's why it's named after that. <clears throat> So if you ever create your own type of dragon fruit, you can name it after your name. Mine would be Richard's Purples, Richard's Pink, something like that. Richard's Yellow, since I'm doing all the yellow graphs here. The Pelora Ecuador. You want to make sure that you're getting all the way up to here as well because they will start growing out of there there we go Today is 4th of July. Happy 4th of July, everybody. And that's it. <clears throat> so now all that energy is going to be focused in sending it to the graft only. And you're going to have a new branch, hopefully within two to three weeks. I'll keep you guys updated on this. It's a Pelora Ecuador graft. And I'll see you guys next time. Please subscribe. Thank you. Bye.